In this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at the IRC worm called Faggot. And yes, that is the actual name of the worm as given by the virus researchers that discovered it from its code. So, yes, it's a Faggot IRC worm. So here it is on the desktop. Look at the details, it's about 373 kilobytes or so of an application. No really extended details about it. But when we run it, we get some hard drive activity, we get our little icon on the mouse to do stuff, and then we get this fake error message put out by the worm when it has completed its routine. So, error in memory block, hashtag, something, something, blah, blah, blah. So, again, it's just a fake error message. So, again, that comes up after it has pretty much done its entire payload. And we go into my computer. And interestingly, it has just crashed the computer, which I was not kind of expecting it to do because I was going to try to show some stuff. But it probably blue screen or something. Well, what faggot does, when you run it, it does a lot of corruption and other things of vital system files and whatnot. And if you try to access any of those programs, it changes the attributes to hidden, doesn't allow those programs to run. So basically it damages the system so that it doesn't work. And again, in this case, it's actually caused the system to completely lock up. So I was, wasn't quite expecting that. So let's try to restart. Yeah, it has completely halted the system, so we're going to have to force this IBM NetVista off and back on here. Now, in some cases, when you, the faggot IRC worm runs, the computer will not be able to boot back into Windows. Usually this tends to happen on NT systems like 2000 or XP, but in some cases it can still boot into Windows, but it'll still be pretty damaged. Win9x, like this, is with here with Windows Millennium, is kind of supposed to be the same ordeal. We should be able to boot into Windows, but we'll find that when it boots into Windows, that Windows is going to be pretty damaged. And that's kind of interesting. It just rebooted the computer. It didn't even attempt to load Windows. Now, this may be a short video. Yeah, I recognize that Windows failed to boot. Let's try safe mode. Windows protection error. Yeah, this may be a very short video for the faggot IRC worm. Oh, I gotta hard reset it again here. I may not be able to show much for this video. We may have to redo this one later down the road. Now let's see if I can bypass a lot of stuff with Windows step-by-step -step confirmation. I don't need that. I don't need a disk cache. So I did initialize that. We don't need to load drivers. Nope, I guess this is as far as we're getting. So there's not much else I can show here with the faggot IRC worm. Again, it's a very damaging worm that pretty much wrecks all the applications and data on the computer there. Basically, as I said, it corrupts it. And as the case we see here, we can't even boot back into Windows Millennium on this IBM NetVista. It's been so messed up by the faggot IRC worm. So we may be revisiting this here later down the road to show the other characteristics of it. So for now, that's all I can show you for the faggot IRC worm.